guys, welcome to Merry Acting 2. It's a bargain bin Christmas, Scott the Waz by Scott the Waz. Now, I have not seen this, but apparently this is, I think, a sequel to one of the Scott the Waz videos I reacted to. I think it was the mystery one, and honestly, I love that one. That was a really great video. It was, honestly, it was really funny and really clever how there was also a story, and a really clever one, too, how it sort of made fun of you know, the usual mysteries by adding in, like, clever jokes with the review as well. Because I love how Scott was just carrying a boombox around with, you know, <laughs> with, uh, just with the review, and there were some funny jokes in there, you know. It was, it was great. It was honestly really great. But yeah, anyways, guys, reading some description, make sure just got the waz in the description. Well, let's get right into it. Hmm? Oh, okay. Scott Wozniak presents... Scott the Woz, episode 150. Oh. It's a bargain... So this is Christmas. This is like a Christmas episode. Alright. I mean, Christmas is coming, to be honest. This is the story of a boy who talked about stupid Nintendo games. Oh, that's ABGN. He's done it 149 Hey, times, all right. No sign of shame. That's ABGN is the narrator. Had no wait this and fling smash that. It's really impressive. I like the animation though. Start with hey, the varied off. styles as well is really well done. The argument he's gone off the deep end, but I think it's just how he's always been. He just enjoys talking about these things, regardless of Dang. what situations he gets himself There's a lot of great anime. Hey, it's like anime. Stuff, like There's a, a lot, lot of great animation of styles. He stated on multiple occasions he evades taxes. Like, Jesus Christ, what? I think he does it for fun. But with the Christmas season upon us, his passion may have finally hey. brought him towards a bit of All a right. crisis. Hey all, Scott. I like here, ABGN and it's as a narrator. Time of year, the spending season, when it's okay to splurge a little bit and say, you know what, I, I could use a toothbrush. Yesterday was my go to buy Flink Smash day. The day before that was buy the rights to Sox Day. Didn't pan out, lost a few grand. The day before that, I bought a what? few shares of Loot Crate. I should read the news more. And today, I'm gonna get my gallbladder removed just for the hell of it. I'm broke. Hi, Scott Wozniak, bankruptcy what? activist. Hey, Swiss, bankruptcy patrol. So I was hoping you could help me out a little bit here. According to the bank, government, and wallet, I have no money. Are you sure? Most people who claim bankruptcy have a forgotten gift card or something. I was actually gonna ask you to see if you could check my account and see if I left an Arby's card there or something. I don't know what to tell you, man. You're completely broke. Oh my god, I don't know how this could have happened. Really? You don't know why you're broke? You brought your entire stack of Flink Smash. Never yeah. leave the house without it. Never? It's a bitch. No one man needs this much Flink Smash. And why are they all wet? You don't get it, do you? Bankruptcy is just a hobby of mine. What? I'll tomorrow and buy at the bank to replenish my funds. You don't have any money to buy the bank out with. Can you give me a loan to? This is great. I prefer Christmas, too. Is bankruptcy a crime now? Is it illegal to be worthless? Well, if it is, I'm f***ed. Now, oh. I did come to an agreement with the bank. Do you accept war bonds? Listen, I'll make you a deal. Do you want the bank to take every one of your possessions? Would you take my crippling debt? No. Thank God, no. We have to do charity work every year. If you can do 50 hours of charitable work in the name of the bank, we can help you out. Oh man, I love charity work. That's the first time I've ever said that. Doing charity work is all <laughs> I can do to go from bank to That's a good joke. Bank, and helping out the less fortunate is what I'm best at. I've not killed my fair share of bed bugs. I always look out for the little guys. So I just have to pick out a charity to benefit, which is tough, there's so many. There's the Kill All Bed Bugs Association. They would not like me. Justice for Squirt, bringing awareness to America's 98th most popular soft drink. No, I hate politics. Oh, the Foundation for Recent Murder is a charity benefiting those who have recently been murdered. That's a great cause. A death is the most common cause for death. Oh yeah, so bring awareness this is to the that, sequel to help of the those murder who have recently one. died. Should be more than enough for charity work. Well, with the Christmas season approaching, I definitely want to give those who are less fortunate gifts. The problem is, I have nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> I something that's affordable beyond belief, but gives off the illusion of significance. Wait. What was the value of Connect Adventures? F***ing worthless! That's it!
Oh. This cost me a nickel. Video games are some of the prices for <laughs> entertainment out oh, there. Yeah, Most like releases, 60 bucks a pop. You know Bad how much games. house you could buy with that? I'm not telling you. Ask a realtor. Games are expensive. There's no getting around that, which is why every single title enters the circle of life. See, we started 60 bucks when the game initially releases. That's fun. People love a good joke. But see, when people buy the game brand new and beat it all and have nothing else to do in the title, how are they going to fund the next game they want to buy? Well, they could work for money. <laughs> You can sell that <laughs> game and then use okay, that money funny. to buy new game. So sell your $60 game for $40 okay. after you're done with it. Some sap will buy your used copy for $50. That sap sells their $50 game for $30. The fucking moron who bought that game sells it for $15. The idiot who buys that game for $15 sells it for $5. And then the me who buys it for $5 is pretty much stuck with it because why would I sell it? To use a phone booth? Many games maintain their value for years, oh. sometimes even increasing in price if there's a high enough demand. But what about the games that just plummet in value? The games that rot on a game store shelf for years. Nobody buys them. Ever. And as time goes on, more and more copies pile up because... Oh, yeah, so he's talking about, like, these games. They're the bargain bin games. The yeah. price keeps going down until it reaches rock bottom, and even then nobody wants it. This, my friends, is mm. the bargain bin game. Games that just refuse to sell. At all. Like smallpox oh. as well Battleborn. Piles of these games crowd used $2? game stores all for dirt cheap. Three bones, two bones, one bones, 50 cents, sometimes even pennies. But why aren't people buying these games? Those are some crazy prices. Like, come on, these are in fact video games. Being able to pick one up for the price of integrity, well, that's a steal. Well, allow me to dissect what it takes to be a bargain bin game with the four categories of the dollar bin. You think you have what it takes to be f***ing worthless? Take notes from the pros. Games that are pretty much oh, unplayable in their Skyline, current state. Yeah. Whether that means a game that was online multiplayer only and said yeah, online multiplayer has either been shut down for years or nobody's playing it or the game is Glee Karaoke Revolution Volume 3. Yeah, I was surprised too when I pulled this off the shelf and saw the price. What? Well, when you do some critical thinking, <laughs> it does make some sense. Pretty much any game that requires a peripheral and is sold with just the game, they are pretty much all in the dollar below crowd. DJ Hero, Band Hero, Karaoke Games, Dance Pad Games. I mean, many of these titles, you pop them in, they're giving you the stink eye. Yes, yeah, Scott. Where the hell is your SingStar microphone? There are the games that require toys to scan. Oh, like Disney, yeah. Infinity, Skylanders, Lego Dimensions. I mean, hey. what are you going to do without the toys? Yeah, that's what I thought. Now, the dance pad games, you can usually play with a controller, but look okay, me in the eye and tell yeah. me you want this. Now, a few games maintain uh, their value even without their games. accessories. Some of the Guitar Heroes are still fairly pricey, but that's because people miss Guitar Hero. Now, why is Band Hero only 99 cents in comparison? Because nobody misses Band Hero. What the hell is the difference? You're playing a band in Guitar Hero 2. These are games that are fundamentally paperweights in their current form. Stores like GameStop oh. have to accept them as trade-ins because, well, they are games. Yeah. But nobody games. was buying Starlink with the toys. What makes you think somebody wants it without? So, worthless equals games that are missing accessories that sort of make these games playable or online-only games that do not work anymore. Games that are constantly getting new versions every single year when the oh, FIFA yeah, comes Madden. out last year's becomes completely irrelevant. And if you think FIFA 19 FIFA. is worthless now, where does that put FIFA 15? You mainly see this with the sports games. FIFA, MLB, well, NBA, yeah. PGA, NFL, That's why NBA. I don't like sports games. You may games. ask, what's the point <laughs> of spending $60 on the new versions when last year's and the year before that and the year before that featured games that were pretty much the same but with a few differences? To answer that question, I will answer this question. What's the meaning of life? I don't know. Some yearly titles do maintain value, even some sports games do. I've been jonesing for a complete Madden 08 collection, but the PSP and Mac versions are somewhat pricey. I made some mock-up copies to get a good idea of what it will be like to actually be happy. Oh. Games that everybody owned for a while there. Connect! Now, nobody cares anymore. Games that were yeah. fads or games that were bundled in with consoles or controllers. Like, pretty much every PlayStation Move owner got sports champions with it. Does that mean every PlayStation Move owner didn't sell the game? I don't even think any PlayStation Move owner still owns a PlayStation Move. These Sega Superstars Tennis what? Xbox Live Arcade combo pack, yeah. Uh, these were included with a ton of Xbox 360s, which meant a metric 70% of Xbox 360 owners didn't want the games because GameStops are made of these games. Be off the wallpaper, you'll find them. Now, of course, oh, okay. there's also the fad titles, games that nobody wants to play anymore because nobody wants to play them anymore. Oh. Connect games and Wii Party games. Like, I don't even think the developers want these. Yeah, Wii these are just bad. Games. games that nobody wants because they're just not good. Some of these games immediately oh, okay. hit the bargain bins within a year or two of release. Yeah, he's Anthem, just going over Knowledge these is games. power. That's you. Look at these price points. They're pathetic. Games that not only rot on the store shelves when they're used and years old, but games that do so when they're brand new. Stores could never get rid of these things no matter how hard they tried. They're legitimately 
is just nobody who really wants these things. Oh, this bargain yeah, the can be pretty much anything, Mario but those four party. categories are the most common reasons they're the undesirables. When somebody trades in one of these games at a GameStop, they're fundamentally sending these games off to die. Nobody buys these, and if they do, half the time they harvest these copies for their cases to use on games they actually care about. But that doesn't mean there isn't inherent value to some of these games. Truth or Lies without the microphone, that's oddly enough better than Truth or Lies with the microphone, it's completely what? unplayable in this state. I mean, the Naked Brothers band for a dollar. Come on, these opening animations alone are worth admission. And hey, what buying a video game for so cheap, that's fun. It's like adopting a child that's older than you. Like, this shouldn't happen, but hey, it's a cool story to tell. I got a game for uh -oh. 50 cents. And what better gift is there than video games? These things were expensive at some point point in time name better press than giving murder victims battleborn we should really do something big for these oh yeah guys. i forgot From about a charity that gamer I as you went into the review of bargain bin games can i take out a loan what the f is wrong with you i'll oh, just sell something the only question is uh what uh, i could sell uh ridge racer 6 that's not f***ing happening i'll never sell my copy i'm broke not stupid <laughs> so i'll just look up how much debit cards sell for What? Desks. Welcome to Scott's Charity. He's not expecting that. It's a place where we address certain problems in this world with kindness. Not ready yet. This is going to be the greatest charity event of all time, and I'm not just saying that. Wait, is this the same place they items. use? Listen, man, we need some great press. This event needs to be stellar. We want to see some happy murder victims. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. I got a secret weapon. Some happy murder victims. It's free flavor candy canes. Cashier told me it would be a hit. I may have banked too much on this. All right, food, spree, presents. Spree flavored candy canes are pretty good, actually. Welcome, murderies, to the first centennial charity gala for recent murder victims. I knew it was a good idea getting murdered. <laughs> oh, yeah, we all went to that dinner party. Oh, yeah, hey. Forward. How was all that? Well, have you ever died? Not personally, but I'll get around to it eventually. This is great. I know <laughs> these guys. We all went to Chet Chef's dinner party. Hey, great food. Flashback. Ended in murder. But everybody was diagnosed with murder except for me. These guys got treated, and look at them now. But that's the thing. They Diagnosed with they murder. They like me. So I just have to make sure they rave about this gala. So I'm just going to try to sweeten the deal for all of them. Terry and Jeb, vegans. I laced their meat with tofu. Rex Mose, school dance chaperone. I color coordinated all the things that aren't beer so he knows what he should and shouldn't eliminate. Wendy's employee, Wendy's employee. I heckled some Arby's drive through before Wendy's I came here. I didn't even know he was coming tonight. It works out perfectly. Listen, these guys have seen it all. It must have been hell to go through the recovery process after being murdered. But it'll all be worth it after they get their gifts. Hey, one of my favorite murder victims. What? Hear that? We're his favorites. How are you guys liking the gala so far? I hate it. Imagine if I got murdered. How? That. What am I supposed to call you guys? I'm a big proponent of the term hospital junkies. Well, I'm more of a fan of the term charity messiah. What are you talking about? That describes no one in this room. What's wrong with them? Oh, you see, well, he's simply bludgeoned to death, but at the hospital, the doctors wrongfully diagnosed him as a burn victim. Can't you just take them off? Not if he wants to recover. <laughs> well, I think it's a good time to make my Okay. <laughs> the holiday season is one of the greatest yet most stressful times of the year. Oh, no. It's because of money problems when is getting this? murdered. It's easy to forget the true purpose of Christmas time. It's to set aside our differences and enjoy the company of each other, to express gratitude and empathy to those truly special in your life and to those in need, regardless of any differences that separate us all. This event is in all support right. of the foundation of recent murderies. My colleagues, Terry Lessler, Jeb Jab, Rex Mose, and Wendy's employee were all recently murdered and are now in recovery. I truly cannot think of a greater pain to endure. Maybe go. I propose a toast. Wait, this what? Had a single sponsor being Ice Mountain Mini Bottled Water. When you're thirsty but not that thirsty, Ice Mountain Mini Bottled Water available now. So when you're thirsty but not months. that thirsty, to you, Merry Christmas. Is the guy gonna fall over? Jesus, that tastes small. So to end things off, to make your insufferable pain more fun, I got you all gifts. Is it a cure for zero degree burns? Oh, even better. Listen, zero okay. degree burns. Open them up. And let me know when you guys forget that you were totally murdered a few months back. Oh, they're bargain bid games. What is this? We got American Night. There's a song? It's $2.99. Of course it blew. 
karaoke revolution with no There ra actually is a song. All right. DJ band and guitar hero. Just the games. Price point zero. Games are games. Ignore the fuss. FIFA there and Oh, okay. 99 cents. That's not even fair. Skylanders. It was just a phase. I turned these copies into a maze. Lego Dimensions. That really exists? I guarantee you, it was a miss. Games that are the anti-ass. Just take pedal board, you swine. Okay, I actually do like this song. The song's really well choreographed. 17, 18. Not as good as 08. Pretty blatantly. But who cares? It's at a great price. Presents that'll make anybody say nice. Gifts with value and some class. Okay, I do like that shot. What the f <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Those are games. Video games. Oh, yeah, that's the <laughs> same like guy. Yeah, but these are terrible. I, uh, I feel like I've been murdered all over again. Is this even legal? G guys, I'm sorry. I just didn't have enough money for gifts. That's all I could have done. Oh, you didn't have enough money for actual presents, but you had enough money for that sign? Honestly, I've had that in my trunk for years. What even is this? That's NBA Life 14. Well, knowing that makes this present worse. I've been murdered far too many times to accept Lego Dimensions for Christmas. And what am I to do with all these Maddens? 25, 15, 16, 08? You son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! Whoa, all right, we weren't the ones who just give out trash for Christmas. Well, excuse me, oh, eight. bankruptcy. I'm only doing this to get out of the hole. <laughs> What's with the 08, doing though? this for the money? And you gave us Battleborn? I'm, I'm sorry, okay, listen, let me try to make it up to you. Terry, Jeb, have a burger. We're vegan. Yeah, I know, no cheese. Listen, just stop, okay? <laughs> What's going on? Oh god, he's been drinking too many of the Ice Mountain mini bottles. He's way overhydrated. Somebody give him some sand! <laughs> what? I do something nice for them, and they blast me for it. They hate me. The charity event's gonna bomb. The bank's gonna take all my stuff. <sighs> Scott. I am actually interested in this what? plot. Scott. Who is that? It sounds like Chet Shaft. It is. It is I, the ghost of Christmas Shaft. Chet, everybody oh, pog face. Poggers. And you. Pog. <laughs> Poggers. <laughs> Oh man, you're a ghost, you can answer this. Would it be vegetarian to eat a ghost cow? What kind of question is that? So picture this, right? Standard cow, kill it, so is eat that the guy that dream. But like, if murdered? a ghost cow appeared before me like you are right or now, and I harvested it, it for its ghost meat, like, I'm eating a cow, but I didn't kill a living thing to eat that cow, so what would it be? I've only been dead for a few months. I'm not a professional ghost yet, I just do it on the weekends. <laughs> well, why are you here? Because I'm a ghost, and you need help. Let's talk. Seriously, this is my work to him, Connected Ventures? I'm a Wendy's employee, for God's sakes. Yeah, you know, I'm sick of people assuming I want NHL 16. Like, stop! Guys, look at this. What am I supposed to do with this? Actually, uh, I could sell this to my Rock Band 2 guy. He loves stuff like this. You know, actually, I could really use a new copy of Truth or Lies. Mine got worn out. And you know, I could use another emergency copy of Connected Ventures. Oh my God, there's a Wii Play! I tried to be nice to them, I got them all that stuff, <laughs> it's a week. acted like I was treating them like garbage. Well, you did get the battle board. I just... I just really need Okay, like so they're starting to and... realize that there is some value to the games. See, that's the problem. You weren't doing a lot of that stuff out of the goodness of your heart. You were doing it because it benefited you. Most people can see right through insincerity. Not me, I invest in Ponzi schemes when I'm bored. They obviously saw what? the cloth in those games because they were worthless. You treated them like they were worth banned you. Banned you. But I did so much for them. I sold my desk to fund the gala. Follow me. You know, after trading these games around, pretty happy with us. Yeah, I'd rather die than be caught with Battleborn, but Connect Adventures, on the other hand, this uh, just saved me buying my fourth copy. Maybe we were a little hard on him. To be fair, guys, he, he did give us Battleborn. And what the hell is this? Spree? Oh. What the f? <laughs> Just write this <laughs> Okay, that's funny. <laughs> but I like Wait, Spree. Yards. The desk you sold is here now. Why is the desk in a dress? It has a new owner. That's just how he uses it. He's feeding a tea. Why is he playing tea with the desk? That's just what he wants to use it for. 
Well, yeah, but it's a desk. The point is... What? Look how happy he is. Giving up your desk to fund an event for those in need and having it go to someone who will love it just as much as you did, you should be proud of that. What? You know, this... even if we didn't like some of these gifts, we found some we did like. And just because some of these are worthless to somebody, it doesn't mean someone else won't find value in them. That's a good point. Like, I hate organized crime, but that doesn't mean we want to ruin their fun. You know, we left a receipt What? Here. It looks like he sold his desk to fund this. Uh... What the f***? You know, I didn't have a desk for 12 years. And look where I am. Murdered. <laughs> I haven't shaved in 12 years. You shaved when you were 10? Seriously, no desk? What kind of freak has no desk? A freak who's willing to give it up to give others something nice. Yeah, like these Ice Mountain Mini Waters. Tastes like a fresh puddle. Oh, don't drink. As I was saying. Oh, no. They already hate me. What's the point? Don't it's drink. Let you know, man. Just We're over sometimes you gotta do things to make it all right, man. Regardless of how hard they Who's that? Just make it be. I don't know who the f that is, but thanks. Yeah, I know. Listen, guys. That's Mr. Guys to you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mr. Guys, are you serious? Sure, I started doing this to get out of bankruptcy, but I realize there's so much more to this than just what benefits me. Well, we want to apologize also. We should be more grateful for what we were given, and we were way too harsh at first. And to be quite honest, this copy of Connect Adventures really hits the spot. Yeah, and I needed some firewood, and, you know, Skyline was supercharged to just that. I didn't know what I was doing on <laughs> Tuesday, but now I know. And DJ Hero 2 makes a pretty mean plate. We know how much you went through to make all this what? mess, so we wanted to get you this. Had an on the Mac! And this. Had an away on the PSP! And this. The OA collection for the PC! <laughs> and this. Nah, I'm good. Oh my god, I finally have all the Madden 08s! God, sound like you did good, man. You did good, bro. Vince Young! You really did it. Keep oh my god. Ready. Yes, of course. You're so much smaller than I expected you to be. Is he okay? Yes. <laughs> he might be dehydrated. I know just the trick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Okay. That, that's actually hilarious. <laughs> All the Madden 08s. How does this end? Is it Santa? Oh, it's his desk! Thank you. Very hard, Is that actually him, though? He's missing a leg. Close enough. <laughs> what? Is ABGN gonna come back? Alright, that's fine. I like it. That was fine. Oh, what's the title? Oh, it's got the Y. Yeah, I forgot they showed it. Honestly, that was really good. I honestly really enjoyed it. That was really well done. Really great Christmas special. Honestly, the jokes were great. The plot was really good. I was actually very invested into it. And honestly, I really enjoyed it. It was really well done. And yeah, I, I even though there were some like tropes from like normal Christmas films, like it it kind of made fun of it too. Like but at the same time also had some really great clever jokes. Honestly, this was really well done. I also like the review on you know, the bargain bin games and going over them. Honestly, and, and also how that actually affected the plot as well. That was really well done. Honestly, that was really well done. 
But yeah, anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the like and the video, subscribe to my channel. See you next one. Bye. <laughs>